जय श्री माता जी लेट अस ऑल बाउ डाउन टू श्री माता जी रेज अवर मदर कुंडलिनी एंड पुट बंधन श्री गणेश मंत्रा Let us now listen to Shri Mata Ji's speech. In Russia, the people somehow are very open-minded. Not only that, the scientists especially are very open-minded. and were suppressed very much so they tried to find out the subtler things not only finding out about chemicals or about some physical properties of the light but they wanted to go into the subtler side and they had find found out <coughs> already a great deal of knowledge about the auras auras around the hand auras around the body they had done so much of research and was accepted all over the world their findings now this gentleman was a specialist i think because he's a very well known very very well known person and he is holding a very big position he was saying that he was he has to run 150 organizations very humble and very nice person and <clears throat> when he came out with this discovery i was happy in a way because scientifically if it is proved then nobody can challenge it he has already written a book with all the algebraical complications of what he wanted to prove and he said there is a vacuum beyond the consciousness this vacuum and in that vacuum only you can know the reality and once all this becomes the reality it is a science and that's how it is made into science he showed so many of my photographs especially the one where lot of energy is coming out of my sastrana when we are on a boat 
So he said she is the source of all the cosmic energy, and that's what his Adi Shakti is. She is the one who creates everything. The whole <coughs> atmosphere that we know of is very artificial, but when you understand what she has done, the first thing she does is to, in my book also I have written down about it, but I would like to tell you that her first, uh, should say, manifestation is on the left hand side. That's the Mahakali's manifestation. So she comes on the Mahakali system, the left hand side, and that is where she created Ganesha. Sri Ganesha is created because his purity, his innocence, and auspiciousness. This it had to be created before she created the universe. So first thing she does is to create Sri Ganesha and she settled down. Then she goes up, of course, in the body of the Virata. And then she goes round and goes up on the right hand side, in the other way. And there she creates all the universes, as you call them, Bhuvanas. One universe, there are fourteen Bhuvanas, means is many, many universes made, make one Bhuvan. And she creates all these things on the right hand side. Then she goes up and then she descends down, creating all the chakras, adi chakras, or the pithas. She comes down, makes all these pithas, and then she settled as the Kundalini. But Adi Shakti is not fully the Kundalini, we can say Kundalini is, is a part of it. The rest of the work is much more than this. So the, all the, we call it the residual energy, means after going through all this journey, then she comes round and she goes as Kundalini. Because of this Kundalini and the chakras, she creates a area which we call as the chakras in the body. Now, first she creates these chakras in the head, we call them the pithas of the chakras. And then she comes down and creates these chakras, which are uh, in the body of the Virata. Now, once this has happened, then she creates human beings, but not directly. Through the evolutionary process, she goes through and that's how the evolution starts. And then it starts developing from the minute small little microscopic organisms in the water and then it starts evolving. So when she creates water and she creates all the universes, she chooses this Mother Earth as the best place to play her evolutionary process. And there she makes this little microscopic thing. Of course, I've written all about it and when my book will be released, you can see that how first hydrogen, carbon and uh, oxygen and all of these things are mixed up and how nitrogen comes into play and how a living process starts. All this I have done it in my another book that I am going to write now. I mean I have mostly finished but there are some more chakras are to be dealt with. Now with this happening, you see one thing is there that whatever I write now people won't doubt. They will know it's a scientific fact and that's what whatever I say is a fact. Now, to believe in the, in the even uh, a mother, Adi Shakti, was impossible. Especially, you'll be amazed that Christian religion somehow or other avoided the mentioning of the mother. Then the Islam, that also avoided the mentioning of the mother. It's completely negation towards the mother. But only Indian philosophy had the mother and the Indians are actually Shakti worshippers. So this is how it was kept up and brought to this uh,
position now that people have got people have got full idea as to mother principle that has worked out everything on this mother principle in india people are very sure that is the mother who does everything and thus we have in india many uh, we should say um, uh, many swambhus means things that are created of the mother earth for example you know in maharashtra we have got mahakali's place mahasaraswati mahalakshmi and also we have got a place for the adi shakti some people who have been to nasik must have seen uh, chaturshringi how many people have you been to chaturshringi out of you it's good so this chaturshringi represents the adi shakti uh, adi shakti which is the fourth dimension of this power which gives you the ascent and ultimately through mahalakshmi uh, channel only you get your realization all this uh, is a process all was created uh, by the power of adi shakti it's a tremendous task <coughs> the previous ones were not difficult because there uh, for nature to create was very easy the mother earth is one with the adi shakti the whole atmosphere is one with the adi shakti all the elements are one with the adi shakti so she could create all that without any difficulties but when human beings came they got their freedom <coughs> that's the only i should the species which fell into the uh, maya of thinking and of uh, th- um, having the ego in them. with this ego a maya worked on them i should say and they forgot about the principle that created this universe they took it for granted they felt that this is their own right that they are there this is their own achievement and they are the owners of everything this started working in their mind so much that they invaded other countries they destroyed so many people and they never felt bad about it all their lives they have been thinking about aggressing others controlling others and doing all kinds of harmful things but they never even thought or never did any introspection to see that what we are doing is very very wrong and it should not be done because of the freedom they have such a turmoil in this world and the people who were in charge of affairs they were very very cruel and extremely had no feelings for the other people and this happened so many times in on this earth now sahaj yoga has started once sahaj yoga has started we have sahaj yogis who are now receiving the blessings of the adi shakti directly but still i must say among sahaj yogis also we don't have people whom i would call as uh, very well match they are sahaj yogi some of them are just because it's a fashion maybe it should be better from their angle or from their selfish angle or whatever it is is a very wrong thing if you are in sahaj yoga you must know now you are responsible for the whole world you are the only people who have uh, come forward you are the only people who have achieved something and then at this juncture you should behave in a manner that Uh, that behoves a big saint or a realized soul but sometimes you find them behaving in such a manner is shocking sometimes they have no respect for themselves or for others and uh, their whole attitude is very funny some of them are money oriented some of them are power oriented and those who are power oriented are more dangerous i think than money oriented because those who are power oriented try to bring such bad name to surge they are very insulting dominating and horrible people their whole 
uh, attitude is to achieve power in Sahaja Yoga. And they try all tricks to achieve that power. But for some time they they look all right. After some time we find they'll all disappear from the field of Sahaja Yoga. It's a very big cleansing process going on. You must understand that you have come in the in the field of very high consciousness where you are in contact with the Divine. Now here if you behave like ordinary people who have no divinity within them, how long will you continue like this? So this is very important that you should try to meditate and evolve yourselves and become really very good Sahaja Yogis. In some places we are very, very lucky. In some, some countries we are very, very lucky. But in some countries I find the people are just deaf and dumb. They can't understand Sahaja Yoga. Uh, for my program they do come and afterwards just they disappear. This one I think is also Sahaja Yogis are responsible for this. The way they go about, the way they want to do uh, Sahaja work is not Sahaja. Must be something definitely wrong with the whole thing and that's why uh, it's not working out the same way as it is working out in many places. So I have to tell you that all this is there, that Adi Shakti is there and all this has happened through Adi Shakti. But now the further work has to be done through you people because you are the channels, you are the one who have to transform people. Now everybody should understand and know how many people we have given realization. We have to think about it. What have we done for such? Once I was traveling by plane and I saw, met a lady who was sitting next to me. She was so hot, I couldn't understand. Then she told me she is a disciple of a guru. Very proud of it. And she started telling me all about him and things. I was amazed that look at this woman, she hasn't got anything from him. And she was just saying, I've given so much money to him, I have done this thing to him and all those things. But she had nothing. And despite that, she was talking to me, a stranger person, about the Guru. But in Sahaja Yoga, I've seen people are rather shy. They don't want to talk about Sahaja Yoga openly to others which is a very wrong thing you are doing because you are responsible for this. You have been given realization, of course you are seeking, everything is all right, but all of you must try to give realizations to others. I must say that somehow men have been more dynamic and working it out. The women in Sahaja Yoga are not yet coming up to that level as they should. They have to be more sensible about it and they have to work it out. They can do it, but the only trouble is, I think they have certain uh, minor problems about which they are worried. Always I get letters from ladies saying, this is wrong, that is wrong, complaining all the time. When I'm so fed up of their letters now that I think they are useless to read them also. So I have to tell you all that it is important that men, because they are dynamic, women should be much more because they are Shakti and I am a woman. So I find that the men are more uh, sort of active and dynamic about Sahaja Yoga and I don't know what is the reason why women are not. They can transform so many people. They can do so much good to others. They can bring so much love and uh, compassion, because this love and compassion is the quality of a mother, of a woman. And if the women don't have that quality, it's useless to be a woman. All the time, if you are busy um, about your useless things like fashions or faces and all that, then the time is all wasted. You have a short time now, you got your Realization, and you must decide what have you done so far, what have you achieved for so far. But I would say that also in Sahaja Yoga I found 
there are all kinds of funny ideas going there. Like certain rituals they'll take up, then they prescribe certain rituals, they'll talk about it. And kind of a power orientation is there. They want to oppress others and they want to take over and frighten people and behave in such a manner that uh, as if they are very good. Some of them start saying that Mataji said so. This is Mataji's ideas. By their own <laughs> power orientation, they manufacture things and talk like that. But ask them, how many have you given realization? The first thing is, you must determine his positivity, how many you have given realization. Is just talking about others, criticizing others, talking about uh, the defects of Sahaja Yoga, seeing in the Sahaja Yoga, is, I would say, is still a very preliminary things that have happened before and it should stop. Now, as it is, once this book is out, all over the world it will be known about our work, we will be not challenged anymore. But still, we have to see for ourselves that if we have achieved uh, this kind of uh, recognition, then we should be up to that. Our capability should be up to that. We should not be lagging behind. For example, uh, if you ask some Sahaja Yogis, especially Sahaja Yoginis, they don't know much about Sahaja. They don't know about chakras. They don't know anything about the deities. Nothing they know. How can they be Sahaja Yogis? You have to know all about it. Only thing that you don't realize that it's not outside that you are a Sahaja Yogi, but it is inside. Inside you have to have that kind of an understanding of the chakras and of Sahaja how it works, how it helps. Now, supposing if I am the source of that energy, which you know very well I am, then you achieve yours also a kind of a perfection about dealing with people and bringing them to Sahaja Yoga. It's a very important work you have to do, is to bring Sahaja Yogis in Sahaja Yoga. What I find that some people are very much still lagging behind and it's very surprising that um, they live in that country, they are part and parcel of that country and they are not bothered. Under these circumstances they'll be blamed that why didn't you do, why didn't you find out the ways and methods of con convincing at least your countrymen. So Sahaja Yoga at the brink of uh, growth cannot grow only with one country, two countries. All the countries have to be brought into Sahaja Yoga. All the people that we could call into Sahaja Yoga will be a very good idea. And then we have books to convince people, we have to talk to them about it. But what I find about Sahaja Yoga is that once they start spreading Sahaja Yoga also, their ego comes up and uh, this thing, they are very great Sahaja Yogi, they are great leaders, all these kind of stupid ideas walk into their heads, which is wrong. You have to just think in a very humble manner. The more you have, the more you become humble. Like a tree, when laden with fruits, bends down. In the same way, you have to be very humble, but that humility is sometimes very difficult because the culture of the West is not humble culture. It's a culture of aggression, culture of um, domination. So far they have been, they think, because of domination they could go all over the world, they could achieve so many things. What have they achieved? Nothing. In their own countries, if you see, there's drug addiction. Why should people take to drugs so much? Then all kinds of sinful things they do, which I don't want to mention, but you know what they are doing. Which, in India, which is a poorer country, one cannot even think of. Such things are happening around you. So find out what's wrong, where, 
and how you can correct these things, if you can help them. Actually now, as I told you, I am going to start some sort of organizations that will do good to human beings, but you all can join us. You can also start in your own countries, something like that. But first, you have to get rid of your ego. See, that once happens to you, then only your attention would be steady. And this ego is very simple for you, because you worship Christ. And the Christ is the one who was settled on the Agya Chakra. You all worship Christ, but that humility of Christ is not there. Just the opposite of it. It has happened everywhere that whatever is preached in the religion, people did just the opposite of it. For example, Hindu religion, I would say Hindu philosophy, is that in everybody resides the spirit. Now, in everybody, if there is spirit, then how can you have different caste systems and how can you have somebody higher and low? Other way round, now Christ has said that you have to forgive. Forgive everyone and you have to humble down. And that's what one finds that among Christians, they don't know hum humility. They have no idea of humility. Men are like that, women are like that, and the men and women then for on fighting. There's no question of anybody being humble, peaceful and all. So it's very artificially they are showing off that they are very philanthropist and all that. But inside in their heart, I don't find there is any love, there is any compassion in the real sense of the word. So when we are dealing with reality, we have to know that we cannot just go on doing things which are artificial, which are uh, befooling others. But we have to really become that. Once it, you become that, when you are really like that, then only you have done the job for which uh, you are born at this juncture of blossom times. Otherwise, you could have been born earlier and could have been something different, but you are specially born, so you realize your value, realize yourself what you are and try to understand, have a self-respect and try to do things which are very important as such. Of course, you are doing a job, uh, you are doing other things, but you will be amazed if you do work of Sahaja Yoga. You will find more time for everything. Once you start doing God's work, God does your work, and that's how you will be amazed how you get so much time to do the right thing. Now it is for you to go back and introspect. See for yourself. Now the Adi Shakti herself has come. But I am very simple. I am very simple to look at in my behaviour. I am very, very uh, humble and people take me for granted. I don't do anything. I don't want to punish you. I don't want to do anything in it. But you yourself get punished. You yourself become useless if you do not look after yourself and grow yourself. This uh, finding is so great and this man had never known me before. Uh, he's very learned, but he's very humble. And what he told me that, just imagine I'm sitting before the creator of this world and still I'm very normal. I said, what should happen to you? What do you think? She said, Mother, it's a big thing to realize that I'm sitting before you and that you are here. I said, it's good that you don't feel my presence so oppressive or so uh, dominating. I'm very happy. So he says, I just feel the love, just feel the compassion. That's what it is. We have to know that we should have just love and compassion. Compassion and love for ourselves in the way that we should not harm anybody's heart. To say something, to hurt someone is very sinful. Uh, but some people enjoy that very much, they think they are very clever. It's not so. When you talk to someone, you must say something which is very soothing and good. Another thing is the temper of a person, is a temper that the slightest thing here and there they get into tempers. Now, this has to be told, this temper that you keep quiet. 
I have nothing to do with you. That is one thing. Then there are people who are very subtly, um, I should say, power oriented, very subtle. They have tricks and traits by which they know how to control others. What are you going to gain out of it? What is your gain? By doing all these things, what will happen? In these worldly things, you might be a little bit um, popular, a little bit uh, having a position or something, but what is it after all? That is not going to help you. What is going to help you the most is to make yourself a perfect channel for Sajjuna, to be a perfect channel. In that, you will be amazed how you'll be helped. So I would say for you people who are in the West, I would say, you must develop humility. It's very important. I was surprised in Russia itself, the people are not only humble, but such dedication, such dedication, unbelievable. They don't even raise their eyes to me. I don't know how they got this idea. This is not after the discovery, but even before that. They were so nice and so humble and so full of love. And even the children brought me small, small presents, you know, just to give me so sweetly. This was something surprising, how these people in Russia have achieved that uh, capability to become. And I think in the West, Russia is the country which will achieve a very great height in spirituality. And that means they will be the most powerful people. Let us see what you are doing in your own country and how you are going to work it out. See, there's so many things you can do very easily if you see for yourself that you are the instrument of the Divine. And then your temperament will change, the nature will change, you'll become a very, very sweet person, a likeable person, and everybody will think that this is a saint walking around. So that's all I have to say about this. Whatever is the discovery is not a discovery for me, but discovery for the whole world. And I'm sure once it is established and is exposed to the whole world, things will change for you and for me also. May God bless you.
Thank you, Shumata Ji, for this beautiful morning meditation. Let us all bow down to Shumata Ji, raise our Mother Kundalini and put Bandhan. We will continue with our morning meditation tomorrow morning, same time. Jai Shri Mataji.